Hey there, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. Been so busy. We are closing up shop here at the lake. Well, part way. We have to take the boat out and it needs to be winterized and that's a whole process. And it's, uh, we got help from uh, my husband's daughter and her husband and then we help the neighbors. It's, you know, how it is at the lake. Everybody's great. This wonderful community here. So I been busy and then I had, to, we had to be at the city. My husband had another doctor's appointment. So I love all my new subscribers and I love the comments. I get so many positive comments. Thank you. Uh, it means so much to me. I got some new tarot cards. I got the crow tarot, which I'm loving. I, I'm just going to use it today for the first time. You guys can enjoy, enjoy it with me for the first time. I have cleared the deck with its energies. And I have shuffled it uh, quite a bit, and I'm going to use them. I'm going to see how things go. I don't. I'm not scared of crows. I mean, they have a bad rap. I think there's a murder of crows, right? That they remember because they remember everything, and they remember faces. And I think they even share their information to their children and their children's children and to their group or murder of crows that they share. So I find them fascinating. I don't think they're as dark as everybody says they're black in color but uh birds again are messengers if you think about the air i find that messages from spirit come to me through the air and depending on what direction you face for me i find that when i faced face southwest i get more information i know that sounds weird but um, spirit tells me to listen to the wind I hear that quite a bit. So I mean those words. So I do. And the air signs are related to communication and messages, messenger messages like uh, uh, Libra, Gemini, and um, Aquarius. They're the air signs. So they're they're always communicating and thinking and moving and socializing in different ways. So messages fly on the air. That's what I think. So birds, hence birds, are nature's messengers. Now they do um, not just talk to each other, but I think they're, how I interpret it is there's energy and nature, animals, creatures tune into that energy ever so slightly. And, and if you believe, which I do, that spirit god talks to me in all kinds of ways through things i see here people i talk to um songs on the radio um feathers whatever it is so i think i'm i'm willing and be willing to be open about what crows cardinals seagulls geese you know we had some bohemian bohemian cedar wax wings in the yard took some pictures i think i'll put them at the end of this video okay so today we're going to do the september forecast for the next three weeks okay let's get started so i'm going to do three rows first row will be um, u.s and world economies in general senses right generally these are my musings for entertainment purposes only you know my experiments no harm, no foul, right? And then we'll do energetic, spiritually, see how things, people are feeling. And then physically, like weather phenomenons, any big things that I can sense that are coming up, earthquakes, storms, hurricanes, stuff like that. I know September is a hurricane month, generally. I think it's June to September or November. Anyway, and I did see something was forming in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh... And when I sat, I did sit briefly on it, and I did see for September something going up. It was on the, even though the Gulf of Mexico has what that storm is looking at right now, this red zone, and that's between Texas and the Florida Panhandle. I feel like there might be something going up to the Florida Panhandle. And this is separate from that. Could be related, but I think it's later. Right. Okay. I also, yeah, that's it. So the first one, 9th through the 16th. 
September. So it's September 9th through the 16th. I'm going to cut the cards. And here we go. U.S. and world politics, or not politics, not today. U.S. and world economies. Ace of Cups. Look at these cards, how pretty they are. Look at that. That's Ace of Cups. And then this is Knight of Cups. So U.S. and world economies are looking pretty good. Uh, and Four of Wands. Oh. And then energetic and spiritually, how we're feeling in general. There's like billions of people out there. And then physically, weather phenomena. Now I do feel as if I need to take maybe this one over here and then this one. Not sure why. That's what I felt like doing. All right, so for U.S. and world economies, I've got... Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, there's the Ace of Cups like I showed you, and the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a happy card. That's one of the happiest cards there is. So as I sit with these, I do feel really positive. I feel like there's a conjunction of um, uh, countries, a junction, an agreement, a treaty, a partnership, conjunction, I use that word for astrology, um, Conjunction Junction, if you guys remember the Schoolhouse Rock way back in the Middle Ages when I was born. Anyway, uh, I learned a lot through that. But there's a, a marked partnership. I'm feeling, because this is the marriage card, the Four of Wands. So I think I'm asking about U.S. and world economy. So the next week, it's been going down. The Dow was going up, 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 and then jobs report came out and people aren't happy about that and several other things. And we all knew it needed a correction. The, the stock market needed a correction. So it's not dire. It's just what it is. It needed a correction. It's getting, you know, pendulum swings back and forth. Um, there's some sort of partnership. Or maybe it's a department of the, I want to say Department of Defense or something, but that's, it's maybe working with other countries to um, build a trade. Oh, I know that they're stopping the, the Nippon steel to buy U.S. steel. And I come from steel families. We work in the steel mills. I did it there. So that's a big deal in the Midwest. some sort of agreement that's going to happen. It's really positive. And I think that's going to be hap making um, people more joyful. It's a marriage and they're going to move forward. So those are really positive cards and that's the economy global work. Now I know there's elections coming up and everybody's kind of going a little bit cuckoo bananas. Um, so the energy I've got temperance, death, and the night of wands. Energies are very erratic right now. And so balance, temperance is about balance. I cut my finger so it looks kind of yucky. Balance is very important right now. But we're, remember I, I well, I don't know if you guys noticed, I wrote a, a um, post about, it's messy right now. We're going through the big shift, the great shift. We're going to get through this. But it's hard to see the other side. So we have to balance. Right now we're going through the great shift and it feels like a death and that's what people are scared about. This is going to continue. When I sat with this, this is very heightened. Everything is very intense. I don't have to have to tell you guys that, you know that already, but things are, something's going to happen this week, which I think things are going to speed up energetically, uh, intensity wise. The debate is Tuesday. I think that's going to intensify and the other thing, too, is I don't feel like it's all bad. I feel like this energy is coming from lots of different angles that people are, like, been waiting to accomplish something. Or they knew this time was coming. And I don't know if it's political, but I think it's more like they're ready. It's like, all right, that's it. We got the paperwork. We're going to do this, and we're going forward. Energetically, spiritually, I feel like people are, like, engaging getting more because it's so intense. Now, if it's overwhelming, 
don't watch social me don't engage in social media um if you have to watch the news watch very apolitical reuters is good it's super apolitical it just announces or just and read it online so there's no commentary it's just the news and then you'll feel less like you want to jump off a cliff okay physically weather storm quakes okay so i've got the five of cups so this is a mixed bag we've got some things that are not i think there's going to be some water that's what that means to me i i don't know why if i have i know the cups in water but i feel like it's water six of wands ace of wands and the chariot so six of wands is really great success and vital but in this situation storms earthquakes um water there's flooding somewhere there's flooding and um and i see this city in the background that caught my eye this is the ace of wands and see how he's standing on the top of that wands which i know is nothing to do with the ace of wands traditional description but i see that somebody's it's near a city flooding near city um but it's going to end quickly whatever this is it's going to come and go it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, I don't feel earthquakes. I feel like there is some flooding, storms, something like that. Maybe it's from previous fires, you know, where the trees are gone now and they can't hold back. You know, the soil is eroded. All right. So some mixed bag there. Good economy. No, Well, actually not bad with the storms and stuff. So this will be the 17th through the 24th. That is a very, I, I just, in my head just came to me, a very pivotal month or pivotal week that just those words came into my mind. Um, pivotal, meaning some things will be coming up in the news and in the world. Um, like it's in Europe. So this is the world economies and the US and world economies. I'm going to pull four. It feels like I need to do that. Yes, that's why I needed to do that. And then we have Queen of Cups, 17th through the 24th, Knight of Cups, and I'm sorry, I get distracted. I'm seeing images and I can't focus. Physical, physical, 17th through the 24th. That's where I feel it's happening. That's, there's something happening there. Temperance, Seven of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords, something physical, Mother Storms. Um, yeah. If something popped in my head besides weather and storms, it's like um, a shift in um, mood and there's, um, that's energetic, but there's this, all this overlaps. So let me start from the beginning. When I'm thinking of U.S. and world economies, it's really good. We've got, woe is me, we got some hand wringing that week something maybe there's some news that comes out but it's not that bad because like last the week before is really good and then this is the chariot i mean i'm sorry six of wands success chariot moving really quickly forward progress pro progress and then ace of pentacles so that last week we had that partnership whatever this is it's going to go through a period of um a little bit of a, I don't know, I don't know, I think it's going to be bad, I think it's going to be bad, and then, boom, something takes off, and it's the beginning of a new process, new thing. So I think it's going to be fine, U.S. and world economies, I mean, that's so general, the whole, the whole world, but I guess I'm leaning more towards the U.S., um, 
except last week, the week before I felt like it was a partnership. Now this one is energetic spiritually. We've got the six of swords, which is leaving troubles. Um, I think people are going to be done with all of the drama. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. We just want to be loved and nurtured and be kind and be, feel better. Feel better. I think people are so tired of all the animosity and, and just the strain. It's just so stressful. So I think there's going to be an ending where people, like I said, it's going to be a pivoting point or whatever is what I said. Pivotal week. I think there's going to be some beautiful thing that happens that's going to remind people about how good we have it. I mean, not everybody because there's a lot of people aren't doing well. But in general, I feel like there's going to be a big shift. And it's going to be self-motivated. It's not going to be so much from the outside. I mean, you might get influence from the outside, but it's, I think, because Next week's going to be difficult. I think everybody's going to go, all right, I need to do yoga. I need to sit outside and look at the stars at night and look at the moon and know that we've always been here. The earth will recover. Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So I think that's the feeling I'm getting for that following week. Now, when it comes to earth, weather, physical stuff, um, I got temperance again, which is balance. Earth, that's earth and water. One foot in, one foot out. And see the bird holding the cup. I think there's still a possibility of flooding. I'm put in the mind of Europe, but and in the past, I think months ago I did something where I saw flooding. Was it in Greece or something? And then we've got the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So uh, I don't necessarily think this is, this is just fear. This is fear. This is running away. This is, woe is me. Oh my God, what is happening? So there will be something, I think it is the flooding. I think there's some climate change thing. That's the feeling this is about. And it's making us are making a lot of people scared. doesn't mean we're not going to do anything about it, but it may feel like that week is a little um, bad. And I see a fire in this picture as well. More of a wildfire. Somewhere unusual. I want to say Russia. Why? Why would I want to say Russia? I know they had that volcanic activity which I saw, by the way, I was really surprised I saw that. And then that was accurate, accurate because I didn't think Russia had that many volcanoes. Someone had asked me about earthquakes in Missouri. I, I'll just do a side note on that one real quick because I'm kind of talking about weather phenomenons and physical stuff. Um, Maybe some small ones, actually. More north of this in the state. I don't know where exactly the fault line is, but I feel like it's more towards the north. But it's not. It's not that bad. It's not Armageddon bad. Okay, so last week of September, 24th through the 30th, we've got the Page of Cups, we've got the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of stuff happening, a lot of talking, a lot of communication. This is energetically, Four of Swords. You know, Four of Swords is after that whole big thing when everybody was just like, we're done, we're done, we're done, and you're trying to find peace. That's another part of that. Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. It's energetic. So there's some, okay, let me do this physical weather. Yeah. 
And then I want to, I think this one on the bottom wants to come out in the cherry at the end. Okay. Two fast moving cards for the bottom. All right. So U.S. and world economies, things are still looking really good. More communication, a lot of um, back and forth, a lot of trading. I see a lot of um, stock market adjustments. But not bad because right in the middle is the Ten of Cups. Happiness, joy, family time. It's like the highest emotional satisfaction. It's not pinnacle satisfaction, but it's an emotional satisfaction. So it brings, it's a family that has enough to survive and to feel well and support each other. But the Page of Pentacles ending up, so this is a dream card where I'm dreaming. I've got all my ideas and talking about them and creating them. And the page of pentacles is, is talking about money, making money, making things of value. How do I, how do I make this real? So whatever's in the works right now is going to start. It's still in discussion according, cause it's a page. It's not queen or king, but it's coming along and they had the ace of pentacles early on. So there's some important thing. Is it zero card? They got in the mind of Elon Musk, so I'm not sure if it's he's he's not going anywhere. But I feel like it's a it's a catalyst for other things. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep hitting my microphone. Energetically and spiritually, four swords. Okay, after that, all that drama from the week before, we're going to rest the two weeks before, next week, this week. Uh, and then the two of pentacles. What do we need? What are we doing? I don't know. There's money or people are not sure. It's not about money. It's more about what are we doing? Indecision. I. We have all these options. It could be about the debate. It could be political energetically and spiritually, but then we have the nine of cups again. So ultimately by the end of September, people are going to be feeling better. There's going to be a lot of up and downs, but energetically, spiritually, people are going to maybe delve into their spiritual practice and find the calm and peace that they need. Maybe they're going to um, be more physically fit or go into nature or do something or stop watching the news or the, you know, the fear mongering social media posts, or there's so many people that just want you to look at their channel and they will say anything and sell advertising. And there's a ton of that. And, oh yeah. And the Russian bots and all that. And them paying all those people. That's a whole other thing, but stay away from that. Calm. Will win. Like I said before, the ship will be righted. And then we have physical weather stuff phenomenon. We've got the two. Of, oh, this is still that fire still going on. Uh, or Russia. They bent. Maybe it is a volcano. Maybe the fire is a volcano again. But things are moving quickly. We have the Nine of Wands next to the chariot again. So it should, it could go either way. It could speed up. And maybe get out of control or it'll be over soon. And I see this horse is rushing too. There'll be rain and it'll, it, well, rain won't put out volcanoes, but. If there's a fire, I feel like this chariot, I see rain. It's not really rain in those trees, but kind of reminds me of rain clouds and like lightning. Or... Let me pull one more card for this physical. Oh, fun time stuff. So it is ending. It's going to hurry up and it's going to end. Whatever that thing is, it's not, it's going to be over by the end of the month. This fire floods. And the fire, I feel like it's Russia. Let me think. The floods, I feel like they're more they're in Southern Europe somewhere. And also California. I lived in Missouri when we had the great Mississippi flood of, it was 80 or 90 
92. No, the summer of 93. Was it? Anyway, there was not, it, it was crazy how, how much the Mississippi flooded. We had to, there's no places to rent. We had to go way into Missouri, you know, Fallon, outside of St. Charles. I love Missouri. Again, I said that before. All right. So there you go. I feel generally, if you're going to, if I had to, September next week is going to be highly energetic, intense for a variety of reasons. Economy is going to be fine. It's going to recover from this little blip. And we are going to find that we need more peace and we're going to find peace. Something's going to happen either through your own desires and design making or from the outside. I think it's kind of both. I feel like we're going to get so frustrated and something's going to happen from the outside that people are going to glob onto and feel better. Okay. There you go. Hope you guys are doing good and we will talk soon. I have some other questions I'm going to answer from viewers and, um, I love that you keep coming back. Take care.